everyone should be able to have a good quality of life. Everyone should be getting paid a wage that is livable. What is going on everybody and welcome back to Dear Ashley Grace. If you have not already, please go ahead and like this video. Also, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and make sure that you're pressing that post notification bell so you know when I post videos next. So shout out to all of my new subscribers. Thank you all so much for subscribing to the channel and I hope you're enjoying the content while you're here. So I was scrolling through Instagram and I came across this picture. Um, and in the picture, there's Uncle Sam and this guy representing all of the cities of America. And in this picture, Uncle Sam says, if only the homeless problem was only about being homeless. And there's all of these tents that represent all of the things that could lead to homelessness, such as alcoholism, student debt, income inequality, um, assistance cuts, um, non-affordable health care. I added that because that should have been in the picture, but you know, you all get my drift. And the picture really represented how broken our system is and where anyone can get to the point where they can't afford to live. Right now, inflation is affecting everyone, especially hardworking people. And when I mean by hardworking people, I mean middle class, lower middle class, poverty line people who work 40 plus hours a week just trying to make do. Because of political warfare, gas is on the rise as our highest appointed officer in the country is urging people to go back into the office and not work from home. And let me not even start on housing, on apartments, on affordable housing, how rent in the past, I would say three years has gone up tremendously. You can't find a decent two bedroom apartment in Atlanta for less than $2,000. I mean, unless you wanna get lifted up and carried away by the roaches and rats, then I guess you could. But if you want to live in suitable conditions, you're not gonna be able to find anything cheaper than that. And then affordable housing, you have people paying damn near $1,500 a month to live in subpar conditions, communities filled and soiled with violence, but they're paying these prices for rent. All of these things are going up, rent, healthcare, all of these things are going up, but income is still the same. Income is still the same. Minimum wage has not moved. And yet and still, you want people to pay more in housing. How is it that has not moved? And yet and still, you want people to pay more for housing? How is it that you have to make this amount of money, three times the rent or whatever the case may be, right? But then you're able to move the rent up and up by market value, but you're still making the same amount. How does that, my, the income did not change. So how is one supposed to be able to still pay more in rent? People can't afford to get sick. Healthcare is out of this world. Affordable healthcare is out of this world. At this point, you might as well just go with, go through a, a regular company. You might as well not go through marketplace. You're gonna be paying exactly the same that you would by just going through a regular insurance company. You're telling people that this is a way for people to be able to get good, affordable, and quality healthcare, but you're basing what they're approved on by their gross income, money that they will never see. That is not a true indication or reflection of the money that they will bring home and making it seem as if they make more money than they actually do. So now those people can get good health care. And the health care that they do have, co-payments, $65, urgent care, $100, specialty, $85, paying these 
astronomical numbers of out-of-pocket fees before the insurance company pays for any amount of it. How does that work? But people still have to pay their student debts in May. But all of these things are still going on. You go to college, get loans to get a job, to pay offset loans. It's just, it's not, it's not making sense to me. Everyone should be able to have a good quality of life. Everyone should be getting paid a wage that is livable. No one should be making less than $80,000 a year. And even that isn't enough to live. But you have these employers telling you, oh my gosh, $50,000 before taxes is a great salary to have. But if I'm trying to get anything, they're looking at my gross pay as to whether or not I can be approved for different programs, for healthcare, for housing, for, for things like that. And I can't because it obviously I make too much money. I just want to let the people know that if you're feeling this way or you're going or if you're going through it, you are not alone. You are not alone. And that I I really hope that things get better for all of us cuz we're all going through it. And we need someone to help alleviate the load that has been put on people in this world. And I hope it comes soon. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Also make sure that you like this video and make sure you press that post notification bell so you know when I post videos next. Thank you all so much and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.